Good morning my lovers, I'm back out on my fields. I'm trying to get to this field. Yesterday we were finding all them relics, but um, some workmen are blocking the road and I can't get through, even on a bike apparently. I had a chat with the man at the end of the road, you know, road closed and all that. So uh, I've, I've had to come back to the uh, to the epic field where we've had 10 amards, uh, Roman silver and that Saxon pendant. So hopefully I'm going to find some epic relics here. I've got you carrying behind a tree because it's blowing a gale! Oh! I wanted be behind the field I was going to go to had lots of big hedges. So, uh, oh! I'm being buffeted here, buffeted. Right, let's go and look at this relic I've just found. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Right, it's in here. Can't see any edges. So hopefully it is a relic and not a piece of cack. Uh, oh, no, nothing that bit. Let's try this bit. Oh, where is it too? Let's be pointer. Ah, it's in that bit. Right, it's in here. Uh, nope. Ah. It's, it's, it's a washer. Ugh. Thought I was going to have an epic relic then. But no, it is a pesky washer. Right. Let's see if we can find some relics today. Anglo-Saxon would be very nice. Oh, I've got a relic, I've got a relic, and it's possibly thousands of years old. There it is. It's a bit thin, but I think this is a stylus. So it's round about medieval to uh, Roman. See the point? So this would have been used to uh, etch into wax. Yes, yeah, definitely lead it bends. So yeah, a red lead stylus. So from medieval times up until the sort of Romans, when you sort right into wax. So you've got a pointy end for, for scribing into the wax, look. So yeah, last person to drop that, dropped that thousands of years ago. Right, off and running. Oh, it's a good job I put a new microphone muffler on today. That's the impression. A spoon. It's a spoon. Is that a fresh break or an old one? That's an old one. Let's give it a rub on the magic trousers. Yeah, it's a spoon. Nothing on it. Right, some of the handles down there. Oh, it might be. Hold on, let's turn that off. Ah, might not. Right, I'll check around, and if I find the handle, I'll get back to you. There's the handle, and I got a similar signal right next to it, same as the uh, spoon uh, bowl. Exactly the same place. I think I can see it. Yes! Yeah, it must have been blown, but that's a fair old, well, not fair distance, about three feet. Right, anything on there? Oh, there's a bit of decoration. I got a bit of decoration. Oh, and there's some writing on the back end. Ah, right, let's have a quick rub on the magic trousers. Ah, it's, ups ah, it's upside down. Right, I'll get this cleaned up and I'll get back to you. Does that say army? It's some something of the army. Looks like canteen committee. And on this side, it says ACC. Is that Army Cadets? Army Cadet Corps? Army, Army Cadet Corps? It's an Army Spoon. I've never found an Army Spoon before. That's got to be a bucket list. 
Let's see if we There you are. It's an army spoon. Quite a big teaspoon. So the cadets, I suppose it's cadets, is it? I don't know. But yeah, army cadets could have been here doing an exercise. Lovely jubbly. It's amazing what you find. Oh, look what I just found. A little bit of a broken spectacle buckle. So that's 1500s. At least I think it is, got a funny shape. Has it been, must have been bent or something. Yeah, I think it's just been whacked by the plough over the course of the past 500 years. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I just found this. I thought it was going to be something epic, but I think it's just a leather stud, a double one. I think that's leather. Yeah, soft. Ugh, I thought it was, when I saw that green down there, I thought, oh, relic, but uh, no, it's a pesky stud, double stud. Ugh, oh, look at this banging signal I got here. Bang it. Where's it to? What's up there? Uh, it's a thing. Don't know. Whatever that thing is. Ugh. God, this was a seriously scratchy signal. I could only get it one way. I thought it was, but it just it just sounded so nice on the surface. And when I got down to it, it was oh, it was it sounded like iron. But it's a button, and it's got something on it. Oh, it's got something on there. What's that? Looks a bit like a buffalo. That no, can't be a buffalo. You don't get buffaloes here. Well, you might have done thousands of years ago. But I'm not too sure about buffaloes nowadays. It's got some sort of an animal. Uh, it's got a curly tail. Could be a pig. I haven't got any writing on it. Uh, not that I, oh yeah, there is a bit of writing. Right, I'm going to get this cleaned up. I'm going to see what sort of animal that is. Could be a pig. Funny looking pig though. And, oh yeah, it is a pig. I can see it through the viewfinder better. Get it brushed up and uh, we'll get back to you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a pig. But he looks like he's on steroids or something. He's all like muscly. There's some writing on the back, but it's a bit faint. Looks like Fleet uh, S T A N D, and that looks like S H. So we can rub that bit up. Is there anything on that bit? No. So whatever that was, type of button. But yeah, look at that. He's a muscly looking bugger. Oh no, I think he's died. He's died and gone to bird heaven. Is there a bone sticking out of it? Not that I can see. Right, GB03. Z374666. Oh, 03, that's the date, uh, 2003. 
and there's the bird number and he's from Great Britain it's a pigeon ring can't see a bone lovely jubbly oh here's all we cack for today a couple of shotties a paper one with a paper shotty quite old and a, a, me a metal one modern one bit of lead another bit of lead that was a bit of lead but it had sort of copper back in I don't know what that is more lead some sort of electrical connector uh, Stouffert press cider can a uh, bit of a oil lamp a bit more of an oil lamp and we're on to the better stuff there's some sort of valvey thing uh, whatever that thing was and uh, uh, shotty uh, uh, pigeon ring lovely button it's got to be the find of the day well that and the uh, Roman stylus Roman pencil a spoon a military spoon and the uh, spectacle buckle and whatever that study thing was so not the best of hunts I mean, did find a bit of Roman I suppose oh and a, a ringer's pull us a uh, ring pull oh I was hoping to get onto the relic field but I was prevented by this chap at the end of the road say no you can't come through and then about 10 minutes later after I got here unpacked all my gear and everything they packed up and left I thought you bugger he could have told me but no he didn't tosser right <laughs> I can have a cup of coffee and a bit of a rest because I've going, been going non-stop and uh, and then I'm going to pack up and go home oh, oh it's proper windswept today the clouds are flying along it must be going at 500 mile an hour up there up there in a couple of hundred thousand feet <laughs> I can see him whipping across I was hoping to have got onto that field today the, the relic field but um, no it, a pesky driver stopped me from going down the lane anyway I'll go on there tomorrow if, depending on the weather Ugh. right let's have a cup of black coffee mmm yeah mmm Oh yeah, black coffee. Yeah, but I spoke to some dog walkers today, so there might be a future permission. You never know; that might come out of. It's got to talk to people. That's the best way to get permissions. Is if you see people walking dogs, sort of like gingerly walk in their direction, in the direction that they're headed to, and then smile at them. And when they look back at you. You say, oh, I found some relics today. Keep a few in your pocket and then go and show them. Don't be too forceful. And then the next time you see them, oh, if instead of them saying, um, instead of you sort of trying to break the ice, what, they'll come up to you and say, what have you found today? And and, and then, you, you know, you, you build a conversation going with seeing them every or three days like once once a week or once a weekend or whatever and then gradually they'll suddenly say oh I've got a bit of land you fancy detecting it and that's 95% of how I've gained my permissions just by doing that easy you don't have to knock on a door you don't have to panic about knocking on someone's door you're just like that sort of gingerly head in their direction when they're walking across the field they'll look at you you know most people will look at you and then you'll say oh I found some relics today and that's all you have to do and they'll say what what and they'll come over and you have a chat easy 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 peasy so make sure that when you get a permission make sure it's on a footpath if there's a footpath going across it right I'm gonna finish this year coffee I've got loads I've got loads of coffee actually I might finish the whole thing <laughs> and then I'm gonna pack up and uh, head off home and see if I can get this uh, video up before the end of the day. In fact, I can see a dog walker right now heading across the fields. I might uh, see if I can get a chat going. They might be a landowner with thousands of hectares. Woohoo! Woohoo! Right, I will say cheers, but I've got to 
I got one of these in the cup of my hand. <laughs> Cheers! Mm -hmm.